So this weekend, it's the Russian Grand Prix at Sochi, and the big news heading into this race weekend. Charles Leclerc will start the race from the back of the grid, so it got me thinking, why don't we do a last question mark challenge? And to go with it, why don't I debut a mod that has been around on PC for a little while, and it gives me a good excuse to break this one out of the covers, and something you guys have been waiting for a long, long time. So, here we are. For this last of first, we are going to drive as Charles Leclerc in the Mission Winnow Ferrari at Sochi. We're going to start from the back and see if we can turn it around. And we'll see where we can finish, of course, on 110 AI as always. And we're going to hopefully have a little bit of fun and enjoy ourselves. So this mod, I'll leave it linked down below, guys. If you're on PC, you can download it and install it and you can run it. And as you can see, we've got the green Mission Winnow on the Ferrari. And uh, yeah, we're going to send it around Sochi and see what happens. So... Yeah, enough waffling. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and let's jump into the race. Now, let's jump into the action. So, Russia, the Sochi Autodrome is going to be the venue. We're going to select the Ferrari, of course. And to go with the car, it's not just delivery as part of the updates. We've also got the updated suits, the helmets, the gloves, the caps as well for both drivers, which is really, really awesome. In this case, though, we're going to pick Mr. Charles Leclerc. Now, to go with that, weekend settings. We're going to turn all the assists off as always. Um, we're going to go for 25% race and uh, I'll do a one shot quality just to make, my, make myself retire and start from the back. Um, whether we'll go for just a clear race, we'll just try and send it in the dry conditions. Elsewhere, we've got a strict corner cutting limit, safety car standard, and formation lap off. That's all pretty decent. Elsewhere, 110 AI, we're going to go for sim damage, uh, surface type realistic as well, uh, low fuel mode hard and uh, tire temp surface and carcass as well and i think that's it so we're ready to go let's jump into it let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race max verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position and lewis hamilton completes the front row as we continue through the rest of the grid today we have perez bottas lando norris and ricardo Gasly, Sainz, Sonoda, and Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Raikkonen, Russell, Giovinazzi, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and Charles Leclerc completes today's grid order. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, so in the words of Michael Jackson, let's dance. So medium to soft alternate strat here today in this race. And to be fair, the timing of the stop could be very important. We can always abandon the mediums and go to the softs very early to try and fight back. But the medium isn't a bad tire here. So I think we've got a decent race on our hands. The first thing we have to do is to get the elbows out, be aggressive and make up as many places as possible before lap three when DRS gets enabled. So let's jump into the action. If you guys are going to enjoy the race, leave a like and let's send it in Sochi. Right, can we get a good start on mediums? Let's find out. The lights are on and run away. Very quick five lights, but the Haas cars don't get off the line that well. We're going to get a pass straight, both of them straight away. Down for turn one, we're going to leave a bit of space on the right there for Schumacher, Mazepin on the left. Can we maybe get Giovinazzi here in the braking as well into turn two? Up the inside, being a little bit careful there with the Williams of Latifi to not lose my front wing. So three places gained so far. As we head into turn three, I'm going to try and get on the inside line here. And then cut back to the right. Up the inside of Nicolas Latifi. Another one down. Raikkonen right next up in the Alpha. I'm going to try and set up a bit of a cut back here. Maybe having a little bit of a look into the next right-hander. Right on the outside. Lovely. Nice move. Careful here. The AI are battling, so they're losing a lot of time. We've got Stroll and Alonso. Duking out. We're going to drink to the inside and get Russell as well for good measure. Lovely. P14. Absolutely fine so far. We're going to drain the battery here. Can we have a look at Sebastian Vettel? Seems like we've got some decent straight line speed, actually. Into the brake zone we go. We're going to go up the inside of Seb. Another one down. Good start so far. Ferrari actually feels pretty decent, I, I can't lie. But end of lap one, from P20 to P13. That's uh, better than I expected, actually. And I think we're not done yet. I think this Ferrari is actually a pretty good car for this track. Seems to suit here. Look at this. We're just gaining. 
in every corner. Stroll out of VRS right now. Not that it matters, there's not really much of a straight, but we're going to try and get him now. We're going to turn the energy off real quick. We're going to wait until we get past turn one. But we are literally pushing Aston Martin here as we now use a bit of energy. No more than that, just enough to get alongside. Slight bit of contact, but we're through. And we're now P12. So a really good start so far. Uh, we've got Mercedes out front leading the race, which is good because the Red Bull is by far the fastest car right now, so it means we may have a chance still of uh, keeping up with the leaders. But we've got a couple of Alpines next up, so let's hunt them down and let's see if we can make our way into the top 10. But the Ferrari feels great. I'm using Yarno's uh, You're Not Miss setup from um, Time Trial, the world record setup. I've just made a few adjustments for race trim, so I've just reduced the tyre pressures a little bit so we don't overheat. And it seems to be doing the trick. Look at the speed we have right now, just catching up on these Alpines, hand over fist. Okay, some information on signs. They seem to have an issue. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so our teammate has a problem. Meanwhile, look at the run we're getting, Alonso. The straight line speed of the Ferrari. I mean, I know Leclerc's running the upgrade engine this weekend, but I don't have that in my car in the game. But up the inside of Alonso, we go. Lovely move. And Sainz is struggling, so we may be able to gain a few more places here. So let's stay on board for a second. We might be able to get Ocon and Sainz at the same time because DRS will now be enabled, so we'll have it on the run down to turn two. Let's try and get close to benefit. Oh, that was nice. Final corner. Important to get the good exit here. DRS is now enabled. And that's exactly what we want. We're not going to use any more energy. We're going to try and just use the slipstream. Signs does have DRS as Ocon tries to close in. Going to force Ocon defensive. Around the outside. No, Ocon actually goes to move on signs. Look at this. Through turn three. Ocon making it work. Signs fights back though. Into four. I'm going to get a nice little cut back here. Get Carlos signs. Can we squeeze through the gap? No, we can't. Got to be careful. Front wing is very important. But there we go, P10. And we can get Ocon here. Onto the back straight. I'm impressed so far. No interruptions to this race. No cuts. It's all action. As we make our way through here, now we can line up Ocon for the pass. Let's get him on the back straight. Nice and easy does it. Shouldn't really need any ERS to be fair. Should be able to get this one done. Or it's just pure DRS. And I can save a bit of energy. I've used quite a bit in this first part of the race. And then we've got to try it. Oh my god. Ocon then moving across. Get it slowed down. And we're through. Right. Can we get onto the back of Sonoda? Let's try and chase after him. Let's see if we have that kind of pace in this tyre. So we've got a lot more pace in Yuki right now. I'm trying to not use too much battery. I'm only using it on the pit straight. And that was mainly to shake off um, Archon out of DRS range. But we should be able to pass Yuki here without having to use the ERS again. So here we go. Personal best on that lap, 33.7. Yeah, for Terry pulling away a bit on the straight. But let's see if we've got the speed to pull this one back. Here we go, closing in. Not as much as I thought, actually. So we're going to have to go for it on the brakes. There we go, another one down. So P8. Now, can we close up to the pack of cars ahead? If we close up to this pack, and then being on the alternate strap, we could actually get a podium this race. Because they're all running right now in a, just a big 5-6 car pack right now. It's only the Mercedes out front and the Red Bull in second who are breaking away. The rest of them are just stuck in the train, so... If we can cut down this gap a little bit, that would be great for the second half of the race. And there's the first one for track limits, got to be careful. Strict corner cutting limits there. We're gonna box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Okay, so that's gonna be the plan, I think. If we box this lap, match the AI for strategy, we could be on for something here. The second McLaren, the second Red Bull, and the second Mercedes are gonna to have to stay out for at least another lap. We get a free pit box because obviously science is going backwards in this race. So this is working out quite nicely, actually. I'm really, really surprised how well this race has gone. So we're going to box this lap. Here we go, let's box. We've closed the gap down. The car's ahead. And we'll see if we can maybe cost them a little bit of time. Important to now this pit entry, though. And to not speed before the 60. Quite a slow pit entry. There we go, that's probably a bit on the cautious side. I could have actually gained a bit more, but... Let's see, Mercedes in. Red Bull in. Or Alpha Tire in this case, actually. And Red Bull and McLaren. So... We shouldn't get held. It should go smoothly. 
2.6. Not the best stop, but it will do. Ricardo jumps Gasly in the stops. And now we've got the tyre advantage, so very important outlet up here. We need to push. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Completely messed up the pit exit though with the uh, pit emitter. I thought I pressed it, but clearly not. I had to press it again, so we've lost a little bit of time, but let's try and close the gap ASAP. Oh, yellow. Someone's broken down. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Just up ahead here. Let's see who it is. And it's Schumacher out the race. So it doesn't really affect our race too much. Hopefully. No virtual safety car, which I don't think we're going to get. Which is good. And we're now closing in on Gasly here as we just clap that curb. Within DRS range right now. Which is perfect. Loads of grip on these tyres. I'm going to try not to drain my battery too much. I don't really have a lot of charge. I want to try and you know, save a little bit. I have to use a bit on the pit exit. Because of my uh, mistake I made on the pit release. So let's see. Let's try and do this organically. Maybe we can get both actually to be fair. That might be worth draining the battery for. If we can get both of these guys on the pit straight. Let's see. Closing in a lot right now. Through this section. The mechanical grip of these tyres. Signs pits. Is in for his stop. Here we go. Let's just get a nice clean exit. Very important. I'm going to go in fourth gear for this. And this is it. Right. Let's not use too much energy. Just enough to make some inroads. And there's cars even in the pits. This is going to be important. Let's see where they rejoin. It could cause trouble. Around the outside of Gasly. Norris is a bit slow. On the pit exit, we're going to try and sneak in here through turn three. This is what I'm talking about, baby. This is some good action. And Norris actually dives up the inside of his teammate. Don't really know where to go here. I'm just going to let these guys duke it out. We'll try and pick up the pieces. But I don't want to waste too much time. As we lose contact with the cars ahead. But both McLarens scrapping it out here at Sochi. Just trying to decide what way to go. But it's literally a papaya roadblock as Gasly dives one up the inside through there. Okay, we can get them both here, I think. I'll just set up this exit. Not sure which McLaren will have the RS. It's going to be Lando, so let's follow him. Coming through. Now we can drain the battery. Here we go. Lovely stuff. We'll get the inside line into here. And straight into clean air. P5. That was the target. So we've achieved it. Perez just up the road. Can we hunt him down? What kind of pace do these stuffed tyres have? Let's find out. This pace is insane right now. We're absolutely fine. I'm trying to get within a second of Perez so I can get DRS. That would really help speed up progress. Fastest lap of the race. And we are now just within a second. So we've got DRS. Bottas actually not too far ahead. So our podium is on the cards. I've got to try and save a bit of DRS if I can to make the overtakes count. But we're looking at a P3 this afternoon. If we can time this right and get the, uh, the right timing on the overtakes at the right moments. Oh, that wasn't ideal. I was hoping to get the run through there. Now, the ideal scenario would be to pass Perez on this straight, slingshot onto Bottas, and look at him on the pitch straight. So I'm going to use a little bit of energy just to help get that momentum that I need to make this overtake count. Perez will defend, but we've got the run. Up the inside we go. And I've got to try and carry that momentum here and get within a second of Bottas. And maybe we can pass Valtteri on the pitch straight. And that way, get them both. This could be another faster lap, actually, to be fair. Let's keep pushing. Last one corner. Tidy. Final corner. Tidy as well. Let's use a bit of energy here just to close in on Valtteri Bottas. And now we make the move. I haven't got a lot of charge. We're going to use the last bit of it here. With some DRS. Not really closing in, though. Gonna have to do it on the brakes. Perfect. Lovely move. P3 and the fastest lap. I think Verstappen's just a little bit too far away. But I'll have a go. We've got um, two more laps after this to try and make some progress. But that's 2.1 seconds per lap. So I don't think that will happen. But I'll give him my best shot. And there we go then. Last lap of the race. And unfortunately, we didn't catch Max as expected. He actually pulled away from us. Um, the soft tyre is just starting to lose a bit of performance. I completely drain my battery and it's really hard to recharge a battery around here. So, yeah, we'll take this. P3, much better than I expected. And the Ferrari actually 
as a car. Pretty decent around here. So a successful debut for the uh, Mission Winnow livery mod, you could say, as we finish P3 with what looks to be a fastest lap. Hamilton wins it, Verstappen P2, and the Ferrari on the podium. Imagine if that was the result in real life. Down. Yes, that's a podium. Excellent drive. The team have worked especially hard this weekend, and this is a fantastic reward. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Now, I don't know what happened, but Verstappen's nowhere to be seen. We finished in P2, apparently, that race. Um, where did Max go? What happened to Max? One lap down. You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> apparently, Max finished a lap down. That's clearly a bug. Um, yeah, we got P3, but still. Hey, listen, we'll take a P2. Why not? Imagine if Leclerc got second place from P20 this weekend with the improved Ferrari engine. Um, but anyway, guys, there's the final result. Hopefully, you enjoyed the race. I managed to get that um, race suit onto the podium one last time for you guys to see the mission window. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me here today. As always, the mod will be linked down below. If you have PC and F1 is one of your games on there, then feel free to check it out and give it a go. Um, and give me your predictions this weekend, guys, for the race. I want to hear them because, of course, the championship is still ongoing between Lewis and Matt and it's looking pretty tasty i'm not gonna lie so yeah give me your predictions down below but like subscribe all that good stuff it really helps me out and finally check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and it's goodbye from me